Hey, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Ray Dufour. I'm currently standing in Cascapedia in the middle of the uh, Gaspé area. And uh, this week, what we're going to do is we're going to do some Atlantic salmon fishing. What you see in the background here is essentially a fish that have been caught throughout the years, some as heavy as 50, 55, 60 pounds there. So we're going to go on the uh, Bonaventure River, and if everything goes fine, we'll uh, make contact. So we'll get you a quick video of what we did, the equipment we use, and uh, some of the technique we use on the river. Donc, euh, sur euh, le programme Sans Limites, ce qu'on va faire, c'est on va parler de pêche au saumon. Je me trouve présentement dans la région de Cascapédia, au milieu de la Gaspésie. Puis qu'est-ce qu'on va faire cette semaine, c'est qu'on va parler de pêche au saumon. On va parler de l'équipement qu'on utilise, de même que les mouches. Donc, euh, j'ai bien hâte de vous rencontrer sur la rivière. Puis un peu plus tard en journée, on va faire une reconnaissance de la rivière. Puis on va avoir la chance de discuter de certains aspects de la pêche au saumon qui sont très importants pour vous, anciens militaires. À la prochaine. Bye bye. Okay, what you see here is a pool Premier S uh, on the Bonaventure River. So this is the bridge that connects the Bonaventure River in uh, sector C and D if you're fly fishing. It gives you a sense of the size of the river and the landscape in which you got to fish. How can you not rest and relax into a setting like that? It's just amazing. Donc, euh, ce que vous voyez ici, là, c'est la fosse première S sur la rivière Bonaventure dans le secteur C et D. Euh, avec un paysage semblable, euh, vous pouvez imaginer que c'est simplement exceptionnel de pouvoir relaxer puis de prendre le temps de qualité. Ça fait que si vous pouvez vivre une telle expérience, fortement recommandé. OK, folks, we're on the Bonaventure River and there's an axiom in the military terms that says uh, « time spent on Reiki is seldom wasted ». Well, here it is. So you see a couple of fishermen on the other side here. Uh, and you see a guy here at the top. He's swinging a wet fly that you actually see here. But uh, from the vantage point that we are right now, we've probably seen about 15 or so salmon in the, the middle uh, current over there. Donc, uh, comme on dit dans le terme militaire, le temps passé en requis, c'est souvent uh, pas perdu. Ça fait qu'est-ce qu'on a fait? On a pris uh, un peu de temps pour de se mettre dans un point de vintage où qu'on pouvait voir uh, et observer la rivière. Vous allez voir trois pêcheurs de l'autre côté. Uh, ces gars-là sont en train de fouetter la fosse. Mais ce qui est plus intéressant, c'est que direct en avant de nous, on a facilement vu une quinzaine de saumons on a d'environ 10 minutes d'observation. Donc, uh, pour uh, pêcher demain matin, ça va bien manquer être un spot uh, adéquat. So what you're going to see here is a pool, but what I want to show you here is we got a pair of glasses like this, okay? And you see the river the way it is, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide the lens in front of the camera, and then you can have a sense for the bottom of the river. It is truly amazing. So you take away all the glare, and from that point of view, you actually see all the salmon in the bottom of the river. See the difference? It's amazing. Hey ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, this morning we're on a pool here uh, fishing for salmon and I'll give you an overview of the pool here. It's uh, quite a nice pool. Uh, we spotted anywhere from about 10 to 15 salmon uh, roughly in front of this gentleman that you actually see in front of uh, me here. Um, I rose personally two fish so no contact yet but uh, we're persevering and uh, hopefully we're gonna catch a few fish. Donc, on a été ici depuis le petit matin. Euh, beaucoup de brûlots. Euh, évidemment, là, on n'a pas eu de touche, mais euh, j'ai élevé un saumon deux fois de suite. Ça fait que euh, dans un paysage aussi euh, excellent, c'est dur de battre ça. Là. En termes de, de mindfulness, c'est vraiment une des meilleures activités que vous pouvez voir. Qu'est-ce que vous voyez ici? C'est euh, le monsieur qui euh, envoie la ligne à 45 degrés dans le courant avec une mouche noyée puis qui balaye la fosse. So what you see here is uh, this gentleman is actually fishing uh, wet fly. So he's swinging, he's uh, casting the fly down and across at about 45 degrees. And from there, he's going to swing the fly using the current to pull it. So hopefully we'll see a salmon action very shortly and uh, we'll go with that. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, uh, good afternoon. It's uh, currently 1700 hours there. We're at a pool called Bogan Bridge. I uh, caught a really nice fish about four years ago when I came back from Afghanistan in 2008 here. And uh, it's a pool that's extremely long, it's quite deep, and we hope we're going to be able to do something. Uh, the guy I was with this morning, Guy and his son, uh, Philippe, uh, Guy caught a nice one but lost it. 
but uh, we certainly had some good action and we saw a couple of fish there. I uh, just want to talk quickly about the rods that I'm using. What you see here is essentially a single end rod and a double end rod. So the double end rod is known as a spay rod and that's the blue line with the two uh, piece handle you see here. And the single end rod is the one that you see with a yellow, uh, a green, well, a yellow line here. So I'm going to use these two rods tonight. I um, want to talk quickly about flies. Okay, so there's different types of flies you can use for salmon. The first one is what we call a dry fly. And those are the right, the one here on the right. They float on water. So there's nothing more exciting to see an actual salmon coming up and picking up a fly at the surface to bring it down. It's really exalting to actually see that. Uh, what we've been fishing this morning is a lot of white flies that are going underneath the surface. You actually see them there. So the question you may ask yourself is, which one do you use? Because the salmon doesn't feed in river. And uh, there's a golden rule that says essentially in dark times, uh, you fish with dark flies and a bright environment, you fish with more colorful fly. So for example, when you look at the water here, it is extremely clear. You can actually see 60, 70 meters underneath the surface here. It's quite amazing what the salmon can see. So what we tend to do is on a bright day to use green flies like that, white flies. And on darker days, morning and evenings, we tend to use dark flies such as the black one here and the brown one. So it gives you a sense of what we're using here. So hopefully we're going to catch some fish tonight. All right, take care. Okay, we're currently at Salmon Owl. Um, we went through the pool this morning. I didn't get anything, but uh, obviously somebody got lucky here. And uh, she probably will land it. So we'll see what happens. So small grills, a couple of pounds. And it's her first fish, so she just started. So hopefully we're going to be able to actually see it there. Donc c'est son premier salon. Elle va être capable de voir que ça a l'air. On a fait la poule le matin, on n'a pas été capable de rien faire. Puis, euh, et voici. Ah, c'est tellement cool! Là, c'est pas All right! Son premier saumon. Donc, here you seen it. This is what salmon fishing is all about. So, somebody got lucky. I didn't get lucky so far. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hey, folks. Um, good evening. Finally back from the fishing trip back home. About four hours of driving to get back, uh, but certainly appreciated every minute of the trip, even though I didn't catch anything. But you actually saw somebody really got lucky, and the thing is the lady there, it was her first year, first time going on the river, and she managed to get one. So you don't need to be a technical expert to get some fish, you just need to get the right fly at the right time, at the right place, with a salmon willing to come, and you're going to catch some fish. So hopefully this uh, little video provided you an overview of what salmon fishing is all about. It's a great pastime and I certainly encourage you to do it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer those as much as I can. Donc ce que vous avez vu au cours euh, du dernier euh, deux jours, c'est euh, essentiellement les segments importants du voyage de pêche que j'ai fait. Euh, ça a été un très bon voyage, même si je n'ai pas attrapé de poissons, comme on dit dans le domaine de la pêche au saumon. Souvent, on parle de quelques milliers de lancers avant de faire un contact avec un saumon. Mais lorsque ça le fait, c'est exaltant et c'est un trip d'une vie. Ça fait que j'espère que la petite vidéo qu'on a mis ensemble va vous donner un aperçu de qu'est-ce que c'est la pêche au saumon. Et puis, euh, si vous avez des questions, euh, faites-moi les parvenir, ça va me faire plaisir d'y répondre. Jusqu'à la prochaine fois, bye bye!